Hello, welcome to this Hangout on Air from Santico for Sage 50 accounting users. Coming up today, three purchasing functions that Sage 50 accounting users can improve with Santico. Firstly, just a little reminder. My name's Hugh Johnson. I'm Senior Vice President of Business Development for Santico. And this Hangout on Air for Sage 50 accounting users is part of a series that we've been running, um, looking at a number of ways in which Santigo can help your business. We looked at business mobility, we looked at credit control, and this week we're looking at purchasing management. And next week we'll be looking at account management and CRM. If you like what you hear, please share this with your colleagues, tell your friends. If you don't like what you hear, by all means, feel free to do that as well, but please tell me. That's the decent thing to do. You can reach me on LinkedIn, Google+, Twitter, or by email, and my email address will be up at the end of uh, this broadcast. So let's get into the agenda for today. Um, we have what I call the selfless and difficult task of purchasing. Then a very, very quick reminder of what Santico is. And we'll dive down and look at three ways that Santigo helps with the purchasing function, specifically looking at raising your purchase orders, paying your vendors, and maintaining your vendor relationships. And then we'll have a summary at the end. So what I call the selfless and difficult task of purchasing. Um, like it or not, in just about every organization that I've known over the years, um, in many circumstances, the purchasing function is kind of out of the loop. And you have this inner circle of, of discussions and dialogue going on between the internal client and the vendor or vendors around a project. And the purchasing function tends to only get involved when a formal need is there to raise a purchase order or pay an invoice or maybe to help mediate or manage a dispute. Now, just don't get me wrong, the kind of purchasing I'm talking about is, is more of the kind of ad hoc or project style purchasing. What's, what I'm not talking about today would be your regular repeat ordering, your replenishing, re re replenishment of stock for manufacturing or distribution. And I, actually because Sage 50 Accounting handles those aspects pretty well. So really what I'm talking about is, is, is more of the ad hoc stuff, the one-off purchases that tend to get done, and how businesses can use Santico to improve those, those processes. Before we dive down, I did say I'd just give you a brief reminder of what Santico is. Well, one way you could describe it is that Santico is an online account management and collaboration system for companies that use Sage 50. But Santico is unique and it's, it's, it's really quite revolutionary and unlike any other system, I believe that Santico solves the problem of ad hoc automation in a small business. Now ad hoc automation might sound like an oxymoron and in and, and, and some ways it is, but if you think about he doesn't do very well, and this is not a criticism, it's just not designed to do that, it doesn't handle the workflow, the tasks, the interactions between colleagues, the sharing of documents, the sharing of notes and discussions and threads that, uh, that happen before a formal accounting record or about a formal accounting record that may be stored within your Sage 50 accounting software. And that's exactly what Santico does. So let's just take a very quick look now. 
I should have started at the top. Apologies for that. In fact, what I'll do is I'll log out altogether and I'll go into our website. As you can see, Santico is an online system and you can access it through our website at santico.com. And actually, if any of you after this actually want to access the demo that I'm showing you this afternoon, all you need to do is come to our website and click on Have a Try and we will send you the login details and you can have a play to your heart's content. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in to this demo account and I've logged in as Dolores okay Dolores is the purchasing manager and within Suntico you can see that I've got all the vendor information the purchase information that has been pulled up from Sage 50 accounting software I also have the sales information as well um, but the nice thing about Suntico is that I also have tasks, I have um, activities, I've got discussions and I can link all that those together to the formal records within within the Sage system and that's what we're going to do now. So the first thing I want to show you as I said was raising purchase orders and how Santigo can help you with that. So I've got a second user logged on, excuse all the, the screen hopping, called Callista. Callista is a branch manager within Bellwether Garden Supply, that's our company. And Callista wants to raise, or wants a purchase order raised for some new equipment for the new branch that she's opening. So it's actually very, very simple for Callista. She's got a quote from a vendor. To keep things simple within this demo, um, the vendor's an existing uh, a vendor Please raise PO. Um, it's going to attach quote the vendor's Abney and Sons uh, contracting, and she's just going to reference the vendor, um, and it's for the new office. Okay. Chris is formally going to ask Dolores Flowers as the purchasing manager to do that. So this will come through as a, a task request uh, for Dolores Flowers. I can work out priorities, high, medium, and low. I can add end dates, start dates, or whatever. But I'm just going to keep it nice and simple and save that. Now, Dolores Flowers, meanwhile, has logged into the system and there's a notification waiting for her. Calista Swinton has assigned you a task, please raise PO. Now there's two ways I can get to that. I can go to tasks and look it up, but if it's just happened recently, I can go straight to my wall and that'll, because the notification will be at the top of my wall. That's a very nice quick way to get access to the information. And there it is. You know, please write, it's, 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 I know it's a, a, a request for a quote, uh, sorry, request for a purchase order. I can open up the quote. I can take a look at it. I'm not going to spend the uh, waste valuable minutes of this demo actually browsing through the details of this quote. But let's say it's all in order. And I can go into the details of the task and I can mark that as done. I'm set up my purchase order in, 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 in Sage. I've got the reference number with it. That's that's synchronized up into Santico. And it happens to be 10310 purchase order for Abney and Sons. Uh, raised and approved. Okay. That'll go back as a notification to Callista and again no need to, to, to show that. Um, you can go and browse this demo yourselves. That'll go back as an, an, a notification to Callista that the purchase order is raised. Now as a diligent purchasing manager what I would do now with Instantico, but in the interest of time I won't do it, but you can experiment with this yourselves. I would go in and I would create a task as a reminder 
to follow up for an order acknowledgement from Abney and Sons and uh, to follow up with Calista to make sure that, it, that the order has, has been delivered successfully and uh, so I'd stick that in as a, as a, as a future, uh, future request and to get any feedback uh, from, from Calista. So what we've done there is we've kept all the documentation together. If there was a third party uh, quote or uh, sorry, if there were say two or three quotes together, other third parties uh, um, uh, quotes, again I could put them all together, have them all referenced, referenced with the actual purchase order that goes out to the vendor and all that information is kept together. You can't do that at, at the moment within Sage 50 and Sage 50 wasn't designed to do that. What you can do within Sage 50 is actually manage the financial bits of that, manage the purchase order, process the invoices and, and, and so on and so forth. So the next thing I wanted to show was paying your vendors. And again, it's just a very, very simple example. Sorry. Very simple example I'm going to show you. Um, and again, you can register for access to the demo account yourselves and you can play with this uh, yourselves. But as purchasing manager, what I've done is I've come across a stray invoice, okay, and this happens. An invoice has come into uh, my uh, in, into the company. I, I could ignore it. I could return it uh, to to the company, but I, I think I know what it what it's about. But I just need to clarify, and it's an invoice reference number B uh, one thousand from Abney and Sons again, okay. Um, and I think Callista knows about this. I think because Callista does a lot of dealings with Abney. So I'm just going to referen uh, reference Callista. And just ask her, you know, is this invoice for against what purchase order? Yeah, because there's no reference on it on, on, on the invoice. I'll just share that. Now, again, in the interest of time, you can experiment with this cells, so I, I, I don't need to show you. If I go back to Callista, she'll get this notification, and she can just stick a comment on it and say, yes, that is meant to be part of this project against that, that purchase order, or no, that was an extra I agreed with Abney and Son, but please, please pay you know, and, and ask for, for forgiveness afterwards. But what you've got then is you've got the formal record of the purpose of that invoice, attached to that invoice, shared between all the people that need to know. And the last thing I just wanted to touch on was managing your vendor relationships. And just like all good purchasing managers, what Dolores likes to do is that she likes to hold quarterly meetings with all her important vendors and strategic vendors. Now remember, what Dolores has, has done is she's made a good practice to initiate feedback uh, from any of her internal clients that uh, request uh, 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 purchases, and she gather, gathers that feedback. So when she goes in and she wants, she's a, a vendor review is coming up, and she goes in to, to view the vendor accounts, And let's say, for example, they didn't appear at the top of the list, and that's fine. What I will do is I'll just search for Abney. And I can open up the account detail record. I could go straight to the wall if I wanted. And here I have all the history of that vendor. And if I want a quick snapshot of what's going on and all the timeline, the history, the comments, the discussions, the complaints, the issues, and, and so on, it's all here on, posted on the wall of Abney and Sons. There's all the history, all the detail. So when I sit down with Abney and Son for my quarterly review to beat them up or to try and get them in to, to, to perform better or to congratulate them on a, on a job well done, I have all the information to hand. So back to our presentation, three ways in which Santico can help you. Um, sorry, three ways in which Santico can help you in the purchasing area, raising your purchase orders, paying your vendors, and managing your, your vendor relationships. What is not, and I, 
I'm quite happy to agree and admit this, it's not a dedicated purchase management system. If you want that, you can go and buy a separate system for you. But what it does do is it tackles the big problem of communication, collaboration, and finding information uh, that might otherwise be buried in somebody's inbox, in somebody's email, somewhere else in, in the uh, company. Now, I've, I've run out of time. Thank you very, very much for listening. As I say, if you've got any feedback, any questions, please take them to me on hugh.johnson at santico.com. One last thing I want to say before I go is if you like what you saw, what you can do is you can go to our YouTube channel at, with, that is called Santico, and all these videos are up there for you to watch at your leisure. So, again, whoops, get to the right one. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for listening. And I hope to talk to you, if I don't see you, same time next week, and we'll address, take a look at the issue of account management and CRM using Santico.